What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at Velocity in Ableton Live 11 and how you can randomize it automatically and even add chance. So let's get right into this. Okay guys, so we're gonna take a look at the velocities in this hi-hat MIDI that I have laid out right here. But you could use this in any of your other drum MIDIs or even in your instrument MIDIs or whatever you want to do. So the cool thing over here is you have this randomize knob right here. So what you can do is you can pick an amount that you want it to randomize by, one through 127, which is how velocity is rated in Ableton. So if you pull this velocity knob up right here, you'll see that the lowest the velocity can go is 1, and the highest it can go is 127. So if you just click randomize on it with it fully up right there, it'll randomize it completely through the spectrum altogether. So let's do that. So if you hit randomize, look what it did. It literally gave us a ton of random values all over the spectrum. But this may not be a good thing because we don't want to not be able to hear our hi-hats and when it's this low you're barely going to be able to hear it. Let's solo it really quick so that we can see what it's like. So it's good, right? It gives it some variation but it's a little bit too crazy and out of the spectrum for our liking. So that's why you can go ahead and control how much of it that you actually want it to do. So maybe you only want to go to like 50 or something like that. You can hit the randomize button and it'll keep them a little bit more tame. But even that looks a little bit wild to me. So let's see what might be a good, maybe like 20. Let's see how that works. Okay, 20 seems to be about right. You could even go a little bit lower than that. All depends on your taste and your liking. But for hi-hats, I think 20 would be the highest that I would go, preferably. So you can just keep on hitting randomize if you want to, and it's going to keep randomizing it from the spot where it's at. So the more times you hit it, potentially the lower it could go or the higher it could go from the original starting point that you had it at. You can see now we're getting velocities that are almost towards the very bottom. So keep that in mind when you keep hitting it over and over again. It's taking the velocity and it's going plus or minus 20 from the original spot where it was at. So before, when we had everything in a straight line here, it could only go to a certain length. But as you keep hitting it, it can go even crazier. So maybe if we turn this down to like 10, we'll actually get something realistic that we could play with here. Yeah, see that sounds, that looks pretty good to me. So that's how you can randomize your velocities in Ableton Live 11. Now there's also some chance that you can introduce in there as well and you're going to be using the velocity range right here to introduce that so you can either click here and scroll up or down and you're going to see right here on the velocities on the bottom you can see those little lines that's that's where it's going to go it could it could randomly go anywhere in those lines and the difference between this and the randomization is that when you put in the chance here with the velocity it's going to be different every single time this bar plays over. So if we didn't have this at all, it, the velocities are always going to be like this for this MIDI that we just created, this 8-bar MIDI in our case. But if you introduce some chance into it, every time it goes through that 8 bars, it has the potential to go up or down anywhere in that range. So it's always going to be different every single time that 8-bar loop plays over. So that's why it's a level up from just randomizing it straight up. So you can go plus or minus with it, and in this case, I'd probably go a little bit higher, just because it looks like some of these went a little bit too low for my liking. So now if we play it back, it's gonna be completely different every time those same set of bars come back to each other. So it's starting to sound a lot better. I'm not gonna waste your time and make us listen to the 8-bar loop over again, but you just have to trust that it does work when you do it that way. So if we put this in correspondence with our other drums and things like that, you'll actually notice that it's starting to have its own swing just from adding those little two parameters, randomizing it a little bit, and then also using the chance with the plus 32 that we have here.
All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up the velocity randomization and chance that you can add to any of your midis that you're making. This is a crazy level up from what we were able to do before, and it's gonna make our tweaking a lot, lot simpler and quicker. Instead of having to go and tweak each one one by one, we can now use these two parameters to dial it in and get it where we want it to without having to spend crazy amounts of time dialing it in one by one like i just said right oh my gosh but anyways guys thank you so much for watching all the way to the end smash that like button for me if you like this one and subscribe to the channel if you're new here because we're uploading daily videos brah that you're not going to want to miss out on and besides that i'll be catching you guys again in the next one peace out